So what I have here is a uh, breadboard with a uh, Arduino clone called a Boardwino, which is available from Adafruit Industries, and it can plug easily into a breadboard. Um, I have some potentiometers with their red is being drawn from the 5 volt out from the Borduino. The green goes to the analog input pins. Um, this is hooked up to a power supply box that I made from a desktop uh, computer power supply. A custom connector here to bring it all over. Uh, power switch, fuse, uh, ground, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt. Uh, because the servos draw too much power to go through the 5 volt regulator, um, I have the 12 volt coming in for the Borduino, which breaks it down to 5 volt with its power regulator, and I have the 5 volt come in to power the servos. The, um, as I said, the uh, potentiometers hook up to the analog input pins, and the digital pins here on the output um, are going down to uh, these wires here which use to drive the output. Now the servos have not been um, lengthened yet, they do have pins in them, but the bottom servo reaches so far, so all these are actually hooked up, uh, but I've unplugged these for now because I need to make uh, some extension cables. But I currently have a program that uses these potentiometers to control these servos. That's a little jerky because of inertia issues, but if I turn So if I turn this guy, so the bottom servo is a little jerky due to uh, the fact that the arm is long and embraced and tends to wiggle a little bit. The other ones run smoother. And all I gotta do is essentially put a claw on the end. And uh, I have another servo that's gonna go and do left and right at about 180 degrees. So when it's all done, all these guys should work fine. Um, I can probably also smooth this out a bit by putting a counterweight. This whole thing right now is just basswood and then hot glued together. But it already works and the code itself is like 18 lines of Arduino's, you know, pseudo C slash Java-ish uh, dialect. So, um, and it uses about 3 or 4K of the microcontroller's um, 32K memory, so it's pretty efficient. And I only had to look up the examples and wire them together. I think this type of uh, physical computing is actually uh, uh, very interesting. There's a little servo here he's moving. I have to figure out to get rid of the jerkiness when I go forward, but there seems to be it vibrates a little and that causes problems. It may also be that the servo down here is slightly underpowered. I got some cheapies to use, and so at least down in the base, I may have to get some more powerful ones from a hobby store. But as a proof of concept, I think this will work just fine. And then I have up here as a servo here. He can't reach the plug. And then I have a servo here that eventually I will uh, put into some sort of claw arrangement. You know, maybe that for now I do something simple or I actually change all this and become, you know, make something a little bit nicer as a gripper. Like I said, this is all just kind of, um, uh, how should we say, a uh, proof of concept as it were right now. That's kind of what's going on. Oh, I guess I could change some of it, so I guess that's true. I might be able to stiffen this up and make it lighter, and that will resolve some of these uh, harmonics. But it seems kind of cool that I have simple code, and when I turn this potentiometer, it reads the value from here, and then it controls the servo, and makes that servo move as it reads the values. It's pretty neat though. Uh, computer technology is getting crazier all the time. That's it. That's uh, my low cost, cheap and ugly robot arm. But uh, this little Borduino guy is 
you know, 30 bucks or whatever. And I think if you're looking to teach yourself or your kids some electronics, and also some computer programming interfacing the two. This is probably a, a really nice way to start. So uh, that's it for now. Hopefully I have some more when I get the claw arm working and then hook up the rest of the way.